Thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. I hope you guys are having a good time. My name is Sagar Alwani. I'm a professional singer, a music producer, a sound engineer. So, I'm here today to tell all of you about my experiences, all of my life journey. Maybe you all can learn something out of it. So, I started with my childhood. I was born in a state. At the age of just three, I came back to Jaipur with my parents. My parents were both government job. So since the beginning, I had to stay in trench, trenches. There were many trenches who was in a place of rapid because I was a very good police child. But once he was Shadana Thakar. Or Jindri Pesh, they were in a place of rapid So there were many trenches who were in a place of rapid in my childhood. So since then, I was talking about my interest. I was always interested in sports, co curricular activities, music, good music. And as you all know, I am a singer, I am a musician. So I belong to a non musical family. My parents were not at all into music. But there was only one person in our whole family who was into music, who was my grandfather. He was an amazing musician, but after that, no one, no one from our family was into music. So I chose that because some of my parents were since the beginning they used to listen to good music. I since the beginning I used to listen to Soul Nigga, Russell Sir, and when I gave me 10th class. As I told you that I was not much good into studies, but when we are in 10th class, many people say that this is the time of the board, the board of the board of the board of the board. And I was the one who was studying, who was interested in it. But sometimes you have to prove to people that you may do everything in life. You have to teach yourself from this thing. If you have to do your dedication, you can achieve anything in life. So, I still remember, it was like three months before my 10 boards and I decided that I have to achieve good passing 10. That's why I have never been able to give me 80% of my life. But at that time, I worked hard for that and put it in the same way. And I achieved 90% of my 10. So, that was a good achievement for me at that time because I was a kid who was never into studies. I was interested in sports and curricular activities, but then at the time, I got to know about my interest. One time, in school, there was a competition, there was a singing competition. First time in my life, I gave a audition for a singing competition. Then I was just a little bit of knowledge, but I was just a little bit of knowledge. Because I was not probably trained in music. So, I was just a little bit of knowledge. I got a little bit of knowledge, I got a little bit of knowledge. I was so happy. I participated in a singing competition. So, I won the third prize. When I was in 12th class, I gave that competition. I won the third prize, but I wasn't very happy with that. Because, I was like, if you want to do something, then you do the best. You don't have to come third. You have to do the best in that. So, when I was in 10th class, when I was in 10th class, I was in 10th class, and I was in 10th class. When I was 12, I gave that conference and I came back. I wasn't very much happy and I wanted to do much better in that way. And I didn't have any research when I was talking about that. This is something I want to do in my life. But, after that, I went into college. I remember first year of the college. First year, it was a singing competition. I went to the SNEA auditorium. I was in my audition. I gave that. With a, it was a two-year singing competition, so I gave that. I wasn't selected. I didn't lose hope. Or there was a band in our college. It was a good band. They came up to me and they were uh, needing a singer, so they came up to me and one of them said, "Will you be the audition along with us?" So, my family was so happy to have that. I was there for our audition. We got selected for the band. I got rejected for the solo singing, but I got selected for the band. This is what they go. Sales knowledge, Nathi, Sulki knowledge, Nathi, Talki knowledge, Nathi. First time. 
he got selected. So, I can do something out of it. I gave that audition, I got selected, I gave that competition. But we didn't go on. So, and the second day I waited for that day and again I gave that audition. Or, you won't believe, I won both the competition, the solo singing competition as well and the band competition as well. I came first in my whole university and that was a big achievement for me. Once again I gave that audition in third year, I participated in both the competitions. Once again I got selected for both I won both the competitions. So, as a the college was over, and I had put some the period. One day my father came up to me and he asked me, "What are you doing here? What are you doing here?" Okay, life is what are you doing here? So, I was very scared to answer that question, and I was very scared. How should I say this to him? But I was very scared to say it, and I told him that I love this. I have some. Interest in music and I want to pursue this. Can you give me a chance? Talking about my dad and mom, that what thanks for not other mommy for him for those who because parents have to support that they have to upward a power that he has upward boost that they have to they are supporting us. We have to do our best. That day, I still remember that day, it was 14th September 2014. That day I gave an audition for a production house and it was in Rajasthan. More of 6,000 people gave their audition and I was the one who got selected out of that. Or, after that, I got selected. I went to Mumbai for a song recording and I had to prove my dad. My dad told me that you have one year. One year with me, what do you do? If you have one year with me, you prove it. So you can do, you can pursue music as a career. Otherwise, you will have to do what I, what I am saying. So, as you can tell, six months go together. And my dad told me that you have to do something else except music. You can pursue music, but not professionally. You, you should at least do something to make money. So, he asked me to go to Dubai. There are many relatives of mine in Dubai, they are doing good. So, my dad asked me, uh, and he told me that if you go to Dubai, you can make a good life, you can do whatever you want to do, with money you can do anything. So, I went there, I still remember it was, I was sitting in my office and I was crying and thinking about that I have to do something else and I am here doing something else in my life and I was happy. लाइफ में कुछ भी करो अगर खुशी नहीं है ना अपने दिल में पैसा कितना भी कमा लोगे पर जब तक खुशी नहीं है ना कुछ अच्छा नहीं आता सो उस टाइम मैंने डिसीजन लिया और ये सब की लाइफ में वो डिसीजन के टाइम आता है जब आपके पास दो ऑप्शन्स होते हैं इधर यू टेक द रिस्क और यू लूज द चांस सो बिकॉज म I shared this with my dad and once again उन्होंने मुझे support बहुत कम parents होते हैं जो support करते हैं बच्चों को but उन्हें भी आप आपको भी उनको वो चीज free करवानी पड़ती है उनका confidence रख के बोलना पड़ता है proof करके दिखाना पड़ता है and कहीं ना कहीं my dad was still happy with what I was doing in music earlier and he told me ठीक है जो मेरा दिल करे वो कर but you have to be the best with that. So, that day I took the risk. I didn't lose the chance. I took the risk. Bob is here. 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 I have a good career. I am going to be able to do music. I am going to be able to do music. I am going to be able to do music. I am going to be able to do music. So, after that, I am going to be able to do music. I started from zero. Because, as many of my contacts came, I lost all of them. After that, I had to start from the beginning, but I came back, I worked hard, I made a YouTube channel, I started putting some content out there, Facebook page started putting some content out. After that, people started knowing me, people started knowing me, and I started getting some good shows, once again, and I was able to prove that, yes, you can do this. 
उसके बाद बहुत सके माय डैड वाज हैप्पी विद व्हाट आई वाज डूइंग बट सो माय डैड आज में कि म्यूजिक करते रहो बट आई थिंक यू शुड आल्सो डू एमबी दैट विल बी गुड फॉर योर फ्यूचर यू यू शुड यू शुड नॉट रिस्क योर फ्यूचर फॉर म्यूजिक यू कैन डू म्यूजिक एनी एनी टाइम एनी वेयर इन द वर्ल्ड बट यू कैन नॉट रिस्क योर फ्यूचर फॉर दैट सो मैंने उनकी बात मान ली और मैंने एमबी कॉलेज में एडमिशन ले लिया बिकॉज जयपुर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट जयपुर और उसके बाद कुछ टाइम हुआ एंड सम मैजिक हैपेंड टू मी आई वाज इन टू द कॉलेज में 6 महीने से वहां था और कुछ 6 महीने में मुझे इतना काम मिलने लग गया इन माय फील्ड इन म्यूजिक दैट आई हैड टू लीव एवरीथिंग मुझे मेरे पेरेंट्स से इसकी बात पड़ी दैट आई एम अनएबल टू मैनेज ऑल द थिंग्स टुगेदर कैसे ना दोनों में एक साथ नहीं कर सकते आप सो वही चीज मेरे डैड ने और मेरे मॉम ने उस दिन मुझे बोली आई स्टिल रिमेंबर दैट डे वाज 24 दिसंबर uh day before christmas so i came home they asked me that tell me exam hai tell me kuch padha exam dega is so that was it a moment for me i told them that man can have a confidence hamesha se bahut tha so us confidence ki wajah se i told them that na kuch bhi kar lunga pass ho jaunga but they were not happy with that answer to be pass hi nahi hona tha like jaise ki maine kaha aapka best aapko dena hota hai aur वो चीज मुझे भी लगी थी कि नहीं दे टोल मी दैट अगर से पास होने के एमबी करा दो प्लीज मत कर जिस सीजन को ना बेस्ट दे सकता है वो कर सो दैट वाज अ डे आई क्विट एमबी दैट वाज अगेन अ टेक द रिस्क और लूज लूज द चांस सिचुएशन फॉर मी एंड आई टुक द रिस्क वंस अगेन सिंस दैट डे मैंने कभी पीछे मुड़ने नहीं देखा आई लर्न साउंड इंजीनियर from a academy in delhi b factory academy just after quit mba jab usi time pe usi time pe aaya main this beautiful girl sitting in front of me she is my wife we got married last year or in simply just a of the baad hi i got a chance to play at this big music festival where i was there uh, where i was sharing the stage with many renowned artists so since then main picture mode ke dekha apni life mein i was Always, I always focus towards कि कैसे मैं इस चीज को और बढ़ा कर सकता। I got to play many international gigs as well. I played in Dubai, I played in Maldives, I played in Indonesia. I today at present I have a really good band. It's known by my name, Sagar Alpani Line and Root Mode Band. So that was all about my journey. In the last, I would like to conclude it by saying. Whatever you do in your life, be confident. Never lose hope. Never fear from failure. Always be determined. Always be dedicated to your passion. Or your passion to follow your passion. Any or any, you have to follow your passion. Don't let it go. If you have to do something else in life, but please keep that zeal in yourself. Follow your passion. Follow your passion. Whatever you have to do, that will give you the most happiness. So. That was all about my story. Thank you so much. Before going, thank you so much. So before going, I would like to sing a song for all of you, and I would like to invite my medalist, my bandmate, Mr. Anurag Devi. Thank you. So it's a Punjabi song. So I'm going to sing it for you. 